you guys love that just as much as I do, then head over to manscaped.com forward slash Scottish to get 20% off your order. Plus, you get free international shipping as well. So that's manscaped.com forward slash Scottish for 20% off. Head over now and check it out. Now, I want you to join me for some Breathe 
and breathe in. And just like that. And you hopefully find that your stress just disappears. So this zone is just calm, calm, <laughs> and relaxing. All right. So, as I said, we're gonna start with these. What men want to hear? Reddit version. Okay. Let me just adjust myself on my letter. Appreciate you. I appreciate you. I appreciate you. I appreciate you.
your extensive knowledge of pre-World War II aviation makes me feel all tingly. Your extensive knowledge of pre-World War II aviation makes me feel all tingly. Your extensive knowledge of pre-World War II aviation makes me feel all tingly. I wish I could find a man that knows about 1960s musk cars like
So we have this, which is a leather shoe. I love the science that it makes, and the smell is lovely. Those new shoes. This is like a brain broke. Perhaps some of you own a pair.
Once there was a miller who was poor, poor, but had a beautiful daughter. Now it happened that he had to speak to the king, and in order to make himself appear important, he said to him, I have a daughter who can spin straw into gold. The king said to the miller, That is an art which pleases me well. If your daughter is as clever as you say, bring her tomorrow to my palace, and I will try what she can do. And when the girl was brought to him, he took her into a room, which was full of straw, gave her a spinning wheel and a reel, and said, Now, set to work. If by tomorrow or morning early, and you have not spun all the straw to gold, you must die. Upon he himself locked up the room, and I left her in it alone. So there sat the poor miller's daughter, and for her life could not tell what to do. She had no idea how straw could be spun into gold, and she grew more and more miserable until at last she began to weep. But all at once the door opened, and in came a little man and said, Good evening, Mistress Miller. Why are you crying so? Alas, answered the girl, I have to spin straw. What will you give me, said the little man, if I do it for you? My necklace, said the girl. So the little man took the necklace, seated himself in front of the wheel, and whir, 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 three turns, and the wheel was filled. He put on another whir, 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 and the wheel was filled again. And it went on until morning, until all the straw in the room was spun to gold. By daybreak, the king was there, and when he saw the gold, he was astonished and delighted. But his heart had only become more greedy. He had the miller's daughter taken into another room full of straw, which was much larger, and commanded her to spin that also in one night, if she valued her life. The kiddo knew not how to help herself, and was crying when the door opened again. What will you give me if I spin all the straw into gold? The ring on my finger, answered the kiddo. The little man took the ring by morning had spun all the straw to glittering gold. The king rejoiced beyond measure at the sight, but still felt like he didn't have enough gold. Oh dear. He had the miller's daughter taken into an even larger room this time, and said, you must spin this, and if you succeed, you shall be my wife. Even if she will be a miller's daughter, I could not find a richer wife in the whole world. When the girl was alone, the man came again and said, What will, I, will you give me? She said, I've got nothing left to give. He said, Then promise me, if you become queen, I shall have your first child. Who knows whether that will ever happen, thought the miller's daughter. So she agreed, and the little man spun all of the straw to gold. When the king came in the morning, that he had wished. He took her in marriage, and the pretty miller's daughter became a queen. A year later, she had a beautiful child, and she never gave a thought to the little man. But suddenly he came to her room and said, Now give me what you promised. The queen was horror-struck, and offered the little man all the riches of the kingdom. No, something that is alive is dearer to me than all the treasures in the world. The queen began to so the little man pitied her and said, I will give you three days' time, and if by that time you find my name, then you shall keep your child. So the queen thought the whole night of all the names she'd ever heard. When the man came the next day, she began with Casper, Melikor, Bella, Bella, Thor, and all the names she knew one after another. But to everyone, the little man said, That is not my name. On the second day, she had inquiries made in the neighborhood. And she repeated to little man the most uncommon and curious. Perhaps your name is Short Ribs, or Sheepshanks, or Lace Leg. That is not my name, he said. On the third day, the messenger came back and said, I've not been able to find a new name. But as I came to a high mountain at the end of the forest, where the fox and the hare bid each other good night, I saw a little house. The fire was burning, and around the fire a little man was jumping. He shouted, Today I brew, tomorrow I bake. 
The next I shall the queen's cut child take. Ah, well it is none knows the same. That rumble skillskin is my name. You may think how glad the queen was when she heard the name. And soon after the little mistress, the little man came said, Mistress Queen, what is my name? Is your name Conrad? No. Is your name Harry? No. Perhaps your name is Rumble Stillskin. The devil has told you that. The devil has told you that, cried the little man. And in anger stamped his right foot so deep into the air that the whole leg went in. And then in rage he pulled at his left leg so hard with both hands that he tore himself in two. And that's the end of Rumble Stillskin. <laughs> it's such a bizarre little story. Close your eyes though. Close your eyes. Because this is to make you go to sleep, okay? Soon, soon, the cattle and grip over the crinkling sea. The moon man flings him a silver net fashioned of moonbeams three. And some folks say when the net and the midnight hour is ripe. The moon man fishes for some old song that fell from a sailor's pipe. And some folks say that he fishes the bars down where the dead ships lie, looking for lost little baby stars that slid from the slippery sky. And the waves roll out, and the waves roll in, and the nodding Soon, soon, net of the moon rides on the wrinkling sea. Bright is the thread and shining wet, fashioned of moonbeams three. And some folks say when the great net gleams and the waves are dusty blue, the moon man fishes for two little dreams he lost when the world was new. And some folks say in the late night hour. The long thin shadows slide. The moon man fishes for cold sea flowers under the tumbling tide. And the waves roll out, and the waves roll in, and the grey gulls dip and doze. But why the moon man fishes the sea, only the moon man knows. Zoom, zoom, cuddle and croon over the crinkling. See, the moon man films in a silver net, fashioned of moonbeams three. And some folks say he follows the flex down where the last light blows, fishing for two round gold rim specks that blew from his button like nose. And some folks say while the salt sea foams and the silver net lights snare. The moon man fishes for carven combs that float from the mermaid's hair. And the waves roll out. 